Chapter 17 of NFPA 72 states that smoke detectors shall be protected from dust, paint, and other contaminants during construction. And that is often done with a special cover such as this. They're often orange, red, or yellow. Some of them are just like a hard plastic that goes over just the sensor of the smoke detector. And it will protect it from false alarms and from other substances that can damage the alarm such as paint. However, if you read the warning label on this cover, it says, warning, alarm will not operate while cover is in place. And that can be a problem if it is left on after construction is completed. This right here is a smoke alarm. It's used in a home and oftentimes manufacturers will provide a dust cover just like this one to go over the smoke alarm in your house as well. And then this right here is a fire sprinkler. And as you can see, oftentimes, you know, you'll get a plastic cover protecting the bulb, the glass bulb and the fire sprinkler from it being damaged while it's being installed and from other building construction and paint and stuff like that. So as I alluded to earlier, if you've been in the alarm industry for really any amount of time, whether you're just collecting alarms or you professionally work with this equipment, You've probably seen it where a building construction will end and the final inspection will be complete. However, a dust cover or a paint cover will be left on some of the devices in the building. And this is a sad reality that is reality. <laughs> um, I've seen this all the time, especially in newer constructions where it'll be a couple months after the building is officially occupied and the final inspection was completed and somehow one or two of these units will have been missed during that final inspection and there will still be a dust cover covering the unit. And as we talked about earlier, it makes the unit entirely useless. And this can also be a problem in newly built homes too that are brand new, just finished construction. The builders will leave the house and go ahead and sell it off to a homeowner and there will still be a cover over the smoke alarm. So if you do live in a newer house or even just really any house, you should probably check all of your smoke alarms and make sure that there is no cover over these units. And while you're doing that, it might not be a good idea to push the test button and make sure they have working batteries. Anyways, NFPA 72 chapter 14 states that smoke detectors shall be visibly inspected to ensure that they are not obstructed or covered and that no paint has been applied to them. So essentially, if those covers remain on the units after the construction is complete, it is officially not up to code. So if you see one of those covers in a building, you might want to bring it up to the building maintenance personnel because it's not up to code and it could cause a lot of damage and even it could cost life one day if that unit does not work and there is a fire in that area and it does not sound the proper alarms that need to be sounded because of a cover. And that is the video that I just wanted to make today because I've been seeing it a lot, especially in new constructions. And I thought that it should just be out there that these covers do exist. And uh, if everyone does their part in raising the right concerns to the right people, then we can get some of these covers off these units and hopefully help save some lives and some property. All right, thank you for watching this video. Rate, comment, and subscribe, and please have a great day.